Hey everyone, it's Connor here and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. What we have here is a very interesting case. You can see this white furry stuff in the ear. This is a fungal infection and the fungus has, you know, very clearly developed uh, on this dead skin and earwax and is, is feeding off of it. And uh, the reason I decided to post this video is most of the time, you know, just by, you know, the logic of deduction, you can usually tell what kind of fungus is growing in the ear. So for example, if it's candida, which is a yeast, um, that's not too difficult to kind of figure out because it will usually be white and it'll usually be kind of moist and sluffy or gooey. Um, and the other most common type of fungus is aspergillus, which we've showcased a number of times on the channel. And aspergillus uh, strains of fungus, um, when they are well developed like this, you will see spores and the color of the spores will tell you what type of aspergillus it is. So for example, black spores would be aspergillus niger. This on the other hand is a bit of a mystery because as you can see, these, these, these sort of white filamentous hairs, they're actually quite long. You know, the, the, the fungus appears to be quite well developed, but it's not gooey and slimy, obviously like a candida, like a yeast, and, but it doesn't present with any colored spores. So that sort of rules out the two most common type of fungi that would infect an ear. So a um, bit of a mystery here. If anybody wants to hazard a guess or anybody thinks they know what this is, let me know in the comment section below because I'd be very interested to know. Um, I have taken a sample and I've put it in a tube and I've fed it some water. So we'll see um, if this kind of grows into anything recognizable. <clears throat> but um, it, you know, it's a very interesting and odd case, this one. As you can see, I'm just kind of trying to wrap this fungus in a neat little ball so I can extract everything in one go. And, and when it's in the tube, you'll see me putting it in the tube at the end of the video. But the fungus, as long as it has water, and the tube I've put it in is not airtight, as long as it has water uh, and, and oxygen, um, it will continue to grow and develop and feed on this, uh, on this human debris, this dead skin. And uh, we've had a number of questions asking, you know, what is the fungus doing there inside an ear? What, shouldn't it be living on a dead tree? And fungi, fungi are an incredibly complex, um, interesting um, species. You know, they're, they're you know, broad and, and um, complex enough to have their own kingdom inside of biology. So if you think about organisms that inhabit our world, you've got kingdom of animals, kingdom of plants, kingdom of um, protists, which are like tiny little animals like plankton. And fungi have their own kingdom. So they're not, they're not classified as plants. And fungi cannot make their own food. So they can't photosynthesize like trees and plants do. So they have to get their food by feeding on other things. And in this particular case, uh, this fungus, there we go, final extraction there. Um, in this case, this fungus, just like the fungus you would find on a, on a tree or, or um, you know, growing on uh, spoiled bread, like moldy bread, um, this fungus is, is basically growing into dead stuff, okay? And um, the, the sort of web, the, the mycelium of the fungus, which is like the webby kind of bed of the fungus, which grows into dead things, what's happening there is the, that, that, that bed, that mycelium, this network of very fine hairs, is growing into the food source and then secreting digestive molecules, digestive enzymes like chemicals, which breaks down the thing that it's feeding on and then it can be absorbed into the network of hairs. Um, so if you ever see like a mushroom growing on a tree, the mushroom is merely just like the, the kind of reproductive part of the fungus. And if you had like, you know, x-ray vision or something, then you, you, know, you would be able to see that inside of the dead log, dead tree, there's this whole complex network of, of mycelium, uh, which is developing. And, you know, interestingly, trees in forests can communicate and share resources with each other, but they can only do that by the help of, of fungi. So even if you have two trees very far away from each other in a forest, they will still be able to communicate and share resources because, um, you know, the, the fungi that's in the soil, this very dense network, will, will basically tap into the roots of these trees and form a network between the two. Um, so that's a, that's a very interesting area of science and it just goes to show how complex and vital fungi is to, to, to the world. Um, so there's the before shot, again very well developed fungi but no spores. And there's the after, lovely looking eardrum there, that kind of purpley blue membrane just there. 
And uh, this is the kind of tube that I decided to just kind of jam it into. Um, so far, this, I shot this video last week and I've had a look at it a few times under the microscope and, and the mycelium is still developing and kind of eating away at the dead skin and wax. So um, if it does transform into anything vaguely recognizable, then uh, I will certainly post an update. But uh, that was, I thought that was a very interesting case. And, you know, fungi, the, the kingdom of fungi is, is, is an extremely complex um, system, an area of science. And, and again, we're still just figuring out just how important fungi is to the world. So, and of course, you know, even if you go back, you know, many decades before we really understood how, how vital fungi were, obviously you had penicillium, which, which gave birth to the first antibiotic. Um, so uh, there we go. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And of course, I will see you guys on the next video.